Hey everyone, Emily here at Hanging Rock State Park. I am here to talk to Ranger Jonathan about some waterfalls. Hey Jonathan. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I have a question for you. So I have heard that this state park specifically is the perfect place to see some waterfalls. Why is this park so special? Why here? So what makes this park special is our elevation change. So we have three peaks here that are over 2,000 feet in elevation. Another thing which makes the park great is the quartzite, which makes up hanging rock. It's a metamorphic rock, and it's very hard and resistant to physical and chemical weathering. The quartzite forms a hard escarpment, which helps form the waterfalls. Awesome, let's go check them out. Yeah, let's go. Jonathan, I think my legs are starting to understand what you meant about steep elevation. They're getting a little tired. Well, we're about halfway there now, only a little further to go. Great, let's go. Wow, Jonathan, this is breathtaking. This is the top of Hanging Rock, so Hanging Rock is part of the Saratown mountain chain. And off in the distance, we can see Moore's Knob and Cook's Wall. So as we're looking out, we're a thousand foot in elevation higher than the surrounding Piedmont. That's what makes our mountain a Monadnock. So a Monadnock is a solitary mountain. It's a peak that is much higher than the elevation that's surrounding the mountain. And what makes a Monadnock is this hard capstone of quartzite. It prevents weathering to the underlying rock. So when everything over top weathers away, the quartzite remains as the peak. Interesting. I wonder also, why does this mountain stop here? It stops here because the mountain itself has a capstone of the quartzite. The quartzite is very resistant to weathering and it prevents the rock from underneath being eroded away. So as the overburden or rocks over top of hanging rock erodes away, it just lays behind this hard quartzite. So that's what makes these views just absolutely spectacular. Well, welcome to Lower Cascade Falls. Wow, this is so wonderful. Jonathan, this waterfall is incredible. But tell me, how did this waterfall actually form? How did it come to be? So the erosion force from the water actually carves a channel through the bedrock. So it carves through the softer rock till it meets the harder quartzite, which is an escarpment that forms the waterfall. As the waterfall continues to fall over this escarpment, it increases erosion at the base of the falls, and that's what produces the plunge pool that we see here. And it's great habitat for fish and aquatic organisms. Wow, so what kind of plants or animals live around this waterfall? So the waterfall makes a microclimate. The constant spray and moisture makes a high humidity. So plants like liverworts, mosses, ferns, they love the high humidity, and they'll grow in areas next to the waterfall. Our park probably has its own particular species of lichens, lichens and mosses here because we have the presence of the waterfalls and the quartzite. Jonathan, thank you so much for taking me out here to Hanging Rock and for showing me the special geology that makes these waterfalls so unique. I have one more question before I take a look at the rest of the waterfalls. Is there anything else I need to know before I make my journey? So when you're here visiting the falls, you need to be mindful of your safety. So stick to the trail, and if you do go around the waterfall, please don't climb on the rocks, because the same conditions that allow the spray cliff community plants to thrive also create slippery conditions on the rocks, so you could fall and hurt yourself. Mm, that is really good to know. I definitely don't want to fall. And I will remember that as I make my way to the rest of the waterfalls. 